We are live. All right. Commander games on a Saturday. Since we couldn't play in person, we decided to do some commander games today. And what do we got going on here? We got Jake, we got Cole, got Lowry and myself. Uh, we're going to be probably playing a game or two or how long do we got, Larry? What do you got for timing? Oh, wise? like we could play like seven, seven games. Seven sure. games. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no, no. <laughs> we, we probably got two on us all right, at cool. this point. Uh, all right. So Jake, what do we got? What are you playing, buddy? It's one of the ones I've, I like this deck. You've played this one. Yep. I first saw it at uh, Smith con and you've done some yep. revamp to it, but what do you got going on? Yep, so Goshitai Life Origin, it's a Shrines-based deck, an Enchantress deck, uh, and I'm just going to make a whole bunch of Shrines and hopefully pound you guys in the face with them. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Sounds uh, hot, right? Going around the circle, Lar, what do you got going on? Uh, playing Alayla, it's Artifact Enchantments, trying to control the board a little bit, draw a bunch of cards, tokens, so, you know, maybe any of that? I don't know. I'm going to dismantle the deck after this. We'll see how it goes. Unless it wins, or when? How do you keep it? Well, that's what I thought about Glenn, like a, you know, a few games ago, and I like tried to play around with it. I was like, kill it, just kill it, get rid of it. So you killed it. And, you ended uh, up killing. But I like it. It's been around for a while, and it's done me well. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then Cole, what do you got going on over there? Cross Defense Contractor. Uh, it's Bant. Basically, it's like a mix of group hug and goading. So it's going to give shield counters, but at the same time, it's going to make them attack when they have the shield counters on them. So. Uh, yeah, I was hoping to just get some swings going around while I kind of sit there while everything's goaded. Nice. So. I love goading, so I'm really glad that I like goading decks. Uh, make sure you put your, your commander thing up on your thing, Cole, when we get I started. I did before. I forgot to do Yeah, because yeah, you left and came back. All right, and then I'm playing Duke. Uh, same old Duke that I had before, just playing a bunch of stuff. Uh, hopefully ETB stuff and then attacking everybody with everything, so... Uh, let's get started. Uh, let's see here. I'll do this three times. One, two, and three. All right, so we got Jake, myself, or not Jake, nope, Cole, Cole, myself, Jake, and then Lowry. So Cole, you got eight, Jake and myself are nine, and Lowry with ten. Cut the deck in half. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. Nine. Go for it. Oh, I almost was going to do the same, but I got that third land, the last one. All right, so three. Mm. Hmm. With that, that that would be the cards. It's not the greatest. Okay. Yeah, this can work. This can work. Yep, I'm good with mine. And All right, let's do that. All right, everybody, good. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, Cole, get us started. On the bottom, uh, da, 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 duel. Cool. Um, I'm going to play a windswept heath, crack it, and then go search for a shockland tapped. Let's see. Let's go. Yep. Yep. Draw. I'll play prismatic vista. Use that, and I'll say go. Go get a basic land. So I'm gonna go get a. Uh, I'll get a planes. That'll be a go. Yeah. Okay. Let's draw this gear card. Oh, that's a good card. Um, let's start off by let's play a manor gate tap. I'm gonna say mountain. So it's gonna be red, and I'll say go. All right, draw. Um, just a basic swamp. Go. Okay. Uh, start. Uh, okay. As soon as shuffling up. Wrench, I told, uh, said, Cole, you should have put your shock in untapped just for shits and giggles. 
Uh, no, I want both two life. Um, <laughs> show, show your power. He said, don't be a coward. Played, <laughs> don't be a coward. I'll pay two for a Sylvan Library. Oh, good for you. Oh, shit. I will pass the turn. Draw. All right. What do I want to play? Uh, that won't help there. Uh, we'll play the Battle Forge. I'll tap two. And I'll play Charming Prince. And I suppose I will scry two. And then mm-hmm. say go. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, there's glare on that land. There we go. I will play a Demir Gilgate tap. And I will say go. Draw. Isolated Chapel. Tap two. Talisman of Dominance. And that'll be a go. Sexy Talisman. All right. I will be drawing three cards and putting two back. That's not how that works. <laughs> you can you could definitely pay eight life. Don't be oh, a coward. Don't Hold be on. a coward, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking four and putting one back. Ooh. There it is. That's not good for oh, good us. for you. That's a reasonable card draw right there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play an Atwara Soaring City. Atwara. I'm going to pay three for a Rhystic Study. Oh, okay. jeez. <laughs> Come on. What is going no, on? I'm going to pass. Sheesh. Cheater. Oh. All right, draw. That's when I play a spell. I have to pay one more. Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, how do I want to do this? Let's go with... uh, I'll pay one for Soul Ring. Pay the extra? Um... No... No, because I'll have to do it here. Uh, and then I will play Rugged Prairie. I will tap one for two white and two white and two colorless, paying the extra one and playing Rumor Gatherer. All right. And you paid the extra one, correct? Yep, paid the extra yeah. for that one. Cool. cool, cool, cool. And then I will move to my attacks. And since you have two fantastic things there, Cole, why don't you uh, take two from Charming Prince? Yeah. And then I will say go. Tap. Draw. I will play. A Gold Gary Guildgate. And I'll just say go. I'm just going to take my time and be patient, Will. Look at that. No ground C. Um, I'm gonna play. Something I can do. Okay. I think Emery. One, two, three. Um, paying the extra one. I guess. Yeah, I'll pay the extra one. Mm-hmm. And I'll mill four. Not too bad. All right. And that will be a go. Yep. I will draw three. I will put two back. I'll play an island for turn. I will pay four for my commander. Um, and then I will pass the turn. Okay. Let's see three. Right. Is that a may? On the to on the uh, tokens. Oh, it's a, a upkeep. Okay. Upkeep. Yep. Yep. Beginning of upkeep. Yep. 
Okay. What do we have here? We got two, three, four, five. I can't even get Duke out yet. Uh, let's go. Uh, pay one white. To get two white. Do I want to do it? Yeah. Uh, Knight of the White Orchid. And now I won't pay the... Uh, you can draw for that. So you have more land than me. Yes, you have four. Okay, so yep. go get in... Search your library for a planes card. Put it on the battlefield and then shuffle. There's my planes. Put that on the battlefield. And then... Oh. Also, whenever another creature enters the battlefield... Okay, so I did this one first. I'll do Rumor Gatherer second for my scry. Rumor. Rumor. It's not really going to matter too much. Scrying. Be cool to keep there, but I'm going to be doing other things too. So I'm going to tap. Oh, wait. No, I can do that one first. So two, four. And I'm not also paying again. Uh, for solar, <laughs> solemn simulacrum. Um, I'm going to draw the card first from uh, rumor gathers. I'm gonna have that trigger first. Enters the battlefield. Enters the battlefield. Yep. So I'm doing this one first. So I'll draw this card, and then I'll go get my basic land and put it on the battlefield tap. This time I'm getting a mountain. Uh, there's my mountain. And oh boy. How big is your fun guy over there? As a 2-4, two, four. Four, so I can't really do anything mushroom. there. Fun guy. He's uh, Catman. 2-4. And yeah. Lowry's... What is your Emery? How big one, is two. A 1-2. No. And Jake is just kind of chilling over there. So oh, I'll bro. go uh, Charming Prince at Lowry and Rumor Gather at Jake for my attacks. It's just a one two, right? Or is it a two, two, two 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 charming prince two one I, rumor gather at Jake? I guess. Jake, are you are you taking? Yep, I took it. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, and that will be my turn. Go ahead. Tap. Come, Jake. Um, do do we want to get rid of the Ristic study? Yes. Yes. Because <laughs> Adam Adam's just feeding them right now. <laughs> I'll play a Baldur's Gate. Um, I'm going to tap three to play a beast with a net sorcery speed to get rid of the Ristic study. You want to pay the extra one? I will pay the one. Yep. All right. Sounds remember good. Remember me. Huzzah! <laughs> remember me. I'll, I'll remember that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about Adam, though. Oh, come on. Stop trying that, Larry. Right. Once, once you play Duke, you're not going to have a choice. You're just going to attack everybody. I will, oh, I'll I'll only attack it. one person. It's Duke's doing the other stuff. <laughs> I oh, will okay. say, go, 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 go. All right. I was worried about this next turn. I... All right. How do I do this? I'm just going to cast... Alayla? Alayla. One, two, three, four. I don't think I can cast anything here. Oh. Um, I'll attack Jake. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, that'll be a go. <laughs> All right. I'll draw three. Oh, my gosh. Um, I'm going to take one of them, so I'm going to take four. Oof. I hope it's another Rhystic Study. Yeah, right. Uh, I'll play... Uh... Let's see. So I'll play a Rejuvenating Springs um, for my land. Oh, weren't you supposed to put a counter on somebody's creature? Oh, yes. I will put a, I will put a shield counter on... Um, I'll put it on a Layla. All right. So she, she taps down uh, and gets a shield counter. Oh, and son of a... <laughs> and then, I yeah. went from yes to shit. 
<laughs> it's goaded and it has trample until my next turn. I don't want that trample. All right. <laughs> I will pay one white for a soul ring. Um. Hmm. I will go ahead and pay two for a card called Magnetic Web. Oh, Ooh. yes. Love that card so much. Magnetic. Um, I don't know what that one is. Mag it's, it's, it's interesting. So it's I'm it taps it to up. put a counter on one of your cards, and then if, whenever it has to attack or something, and then whenever it, it like essentially it forces all of the tokens of that card to attack with it. Yeah. Any creature with a magnet counter on it attacks. All creatures with magnet counters on them that the attacking player controls attack if able. If any creature with any magnet counters on it attacks, all creatures with all magnet counters on them then uh, on them that the defending player controls block. So basically, like it, it, they track each other, right? Yeah. So, so if I put a magnet on like one of yours, Adam, and one of yours, Lowry, then like that, those two have to block or attack. You know, basically off of that. Gotcha. Um. That's interesting on the blocking part. Let's see here. And then... Yeah, it's interesting. That's an, I haven't seen that card before. <clears throat> Can't do that card here, so... Let's see. And then I'll go ahead and I will pay three uh, for Jing Yanggu Wildcrafter. Um, and I will subtract one uh, to put a plus one, plus one counter on um, Solemn Simulacrum. So since due to his ability, whenever you put one or more counters on a creature, uh, Solemn Smolacrum gets a plus one, plus one counter, is tapped, is goaded, and has trample next until my next turn. Right on. So Dig Solemn it. is tapped? Oh, Solemn is tapped, yep, and he's goaded next turn. Um, and then I'll pay the one tap to put a... Um, sorry, give me a second here. I'm going to have to get different counters to... Distinguish right. between yeah, each yeah. one. Oh, I'll be right this back. Is, um, <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, who? I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, magnet counter on uh, Emery. All right. So she's also uh, tapped and goaded. And then I will pass the turn. Okay, so I have to attack with Solemn. Hold on. Do I have? Okay. I have a solution. I have a magnet right here. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. I, that's, I'm just going to go upstairs and go to the fridge and grab all the kids' magnets. <laughs> this gets out of hand. The letter D for dick. <laughs> uh, flooded strand. I will use that. Yeah, I'll use that to go get a duel. Where are you? Come on. Be nice if this was like towards right when I started right searching. Right. Seeing all my fetches. Mm -hmm. Jeez. There it is. Plateau. Okay, um, let's see. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Duke! Six. Yep, I'll bring Duke out. Should. And so I will scry oh. one off a of Duke coming in. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then what else is in my hand? Anything I can do? Not really. Uh, I will move to my attacks. So Solemn has to attack. So that is what I'm 
duking. I'm duking my. Duking. I'm duking. <laughs> go poop out a soul. That's a robot turd. <laughs> um and then let's see is jake you still don't have anything there but you did some stuff so i won't all out attack you but Lowry, you you're tapped down Lowry, over there correct uh and how big is I'll let this magnet attract you over here <laughs> two four. So you have a two four over there huh so i can't really go after you cole because all my shit's too weak so solemn's gonna go me? Solm's going to start with Jake as the the original copy is going at Jake. Yeah, I'm so also... Five. Uh, oh, it is three. Oh, then the, actually, I'm going to do this one at Lowry because you did save us. I am remembering Jake. So, Lowry, you're going to get the three. And then... Right. Uh, yeah, three that way. Then the twos are going to go everywhere else. And I will also attack with rumor gatherer and charming prince split those up we're gonna go one at lowry and one at jake there so four total four yep four total, total. and i'm scrying the one that i did from getting duke really quick uh keep that there scry and then draw yep uh well now it created two solemn simulacrums so you go get two lands Yep, I'm going to do the draw part first, or the first draw. So I'm going to take this, that Let's one. Scry, draw, two land. Yep, two land, and then I will, the last trigger will scry, because it won't matter, because I'm going to get the two land. Right, and then those disappear, and then you get the draw off of the... Correct, yep. That's pretty sweet. So I got a plains, and I'm going to grab a mountain. And then those oh, die, yeah. and I will draw two more cards. Well, what? Oh, did you uh, no, block? no, 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 no. Oh, sorry. So they're the exiled, so you don't get the draw unless they die. Oh, good point. Good point. Yep, it also, says dies. Yep. Cole can respond to blocks. Yep. So the three was going at Lowry, and the twos were going at you guys. The other two. That's a... You already took yours, Lowry. All right, you already took yep, yours I too, Jake. Five. And yeah, I took so then I'll just block the small small come with my commander. Okay. So that killed it. So I will draw off of that. Mm -hmm. So hang on. First was my scry from that second one hitting. I'll put that on the bottom. And... Oh, it's it's a draw. No, it, the, it, I did the it sec... checks for two. So you scry one, draw one. Then you scry then again. You draw. Then you scry again. Oh. Once you pass your no, second, no. it's only the second one you draw. Yes. You yep. had a third creature come into play? Duke came into play and then two Solemn Simulacrums. So three oh, total right. came into right. play. So that was my scry. I now I'm drawing off of the Solemn that dies. Okay. Second main phase. Um, I'm not doing anything and I will say go. All right. I will untap. Draw this card. Four. Interesting. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, those came into play tapped. Uh, I feel like I need to do something, but there's not much I can do. Well, sure. Let's go. Boros Guildgate comes in tapped. Um, two, three, four. Uh, any one color. I guess we'll just do red and green for Trace of Abundance. So this land has Shroud on it. And uh, when I tap it, uh, I tap it for any mana uh, that I can control at. <laughs> Kitty monster. Yes. Uh, I, wish, I wish I had a better play than this, but then I will tap for three and play a Sessian champion. Hey, Ben. And then no and den and pass. No and den. No and den. All right. Draw. All right. Um, we'll go land for turn. All right. We will go 
blue hollowless ethereum sculptor trigger with the fairy tap uh target the nettle cyst a two to bring it into play trigger fairy uh nettle cyst has whatever that part living weapon so it has a zero yeah the question ends up being i might have that on there and just um right now i'm gonna pay one two idol of oblivion uh trigger fairy i had a token come into play so i will tap to draw a card Currently, Nettle Cyst is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. Uh, I have to attack with Alayla. And Adam, you don't have anything flying? Nope. Nope. Take two in the air. Okay. I'll gain two. Commander damage. Yes. Correct. You will want to pay attention to that. <laughs> No, you and will. you will. That'll be a go. All right. I'll tap. And then you put a counter yeah. before. Oh, yes. I'll tap again my upkeep. I will add a counter to. I will add a shield counter to the germ token for the nettle cyst. All right. I don't know how to fucking do that, but <laughs> go find another piece of things to put on right. there. <laughs> I guess we'll go like that. <laughs> put and it on top of the token. Shield counter. And then it's tapped. Right. I don't know how to. All right. We'll go like that. <laughs> sure. The artifact technically isn't tapped. Cool. I guess. We'll draw three. Um. Um, I gotta put some of these back, I think. Um, I'm gonna put two back. I'll play Glacial Fortress. Um, trying to look at the board. What's Duke's power and toughness? It's five, 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 five. Oof. Um, okay. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to tap this, pay three, two white and a, and a blue. Or, yeah, two white. No, two white. Yeah, blue. Two white and a blue for collective effort and i escalated by tapping one of my untapped creatures okay um so i'm going to uh destroy duke um as the destroy target creature with power four or greater all right nice. and then i'm gonna put up go ahead. i let him let him point out everything and then my other mode is put a plus one plus one counter on all the creatures you control i'm deflecting swatting it Okay. You don't have anything to deflect it to. What? What do you mean? It has to be creature five or more power, and there are no other creatures with power five or more. It's four or power greater. Oh, is, is it four or more? Or yeah. four or greater, yep. Ah, uh, okay. I do. Do you have something? Yeah, you have a couple of things, that guy. Metal cyst. Yeah. No, I just have metal cyst. So I'll deflect that over there. And then you mm -hmm. did a one-one counter on target creature or target player controls. No, target target all the creatures, creatures. target player control. And oh, all right. I still have my token though. All right. So because it it had a shield counter on it. Mm -hmm. So. So if it has right. a one-one counter, those mean that it would be goaded, right? Goaded and tapped and have trample. Yep. Tapped and have trample. 
So my my token still is goaded and trample, right? Yep. Yeah. Um. So I deflected. I deflected only the first part, or I deflected that. I can do the whole thing, actually, can't I? I you're deflecting to... the whole spell. Yep. Okay. I mean, adding a counter to mine isn't bad, and I'm attacking anyways, but I don't want to all out attack. So let's put it on Jake's. <laughs> sure. Or would I? I could do it to no. yours. There's the only. You do have your guy there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it to yours. Right. Make your guy attack instead of Jake. Well, he doesn't attack. He's not. He doesn't go to himself. Okay. Well, still putting it over there. Sure. Hold on. What's going on? All right. So what happened? So it's a one-one uh, counter on Jake's guy. No, on uh, Cole's guy. Okay. Okay. It's for every creature. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. The interesting part is if you would have chosen me or Jake, then that would still be Cole putting counters on, mm. and they would have all been goaded and trampled the next turn. Right. Mm. Um. Okay. So I'm going to just try to do the same thing, kind of. I'm going to pay two, three, four, five. So X equals four. Four for Thrive, put a plus one, plus one counter on each of X target creatures. So I get to pick four target creatures to put a plus one, plus one counter on. Okay. I'm going to target... Um, I gotta get that out of the way. I'm going to target um, the Charming Prince, the Scrying Dude, the Night Orchid. And then I'm going to put it on uh, Jake's Satessin Champion. Champions tapped. Yep, and the champions tapped. And then I'll also subtract one here and put a plus one plus one counter on the Ethereum sculptor. Oh. 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 So. That is the only thing of mine. Nope. That are goaded. And then I will pass the turn. All right. So my Solemn was goaded the turn before, so that one doesn't need to attack. These do. Okay. All right. How do we? There. Okay. Draw I think card we're for go turn. Oh, da, right. da, 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 da. I don't know if I want to do that one or not. Let's see. So we got. Let's go two, three for a white and four. And I will play anointed procession. Yep. Okay. And then <laughs> what do we have left here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, I guess let's see what we get. We got to just kind of move to attacks, I guess, right? I think so. Okay, so we'll move to attacks. Uh, Duke. Another enters. Oh, that's just going to get really fucking confusing, but it could be interesting. Um... I think I'm actually going to still... It's going to trigger, 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 trigger. This is where the stacking part gets super Q4. fun. Yeah. Well, what I'm trying to think is... <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to do it the other way. I'm going to keep Solemn there. We're going to Rumor Gatherer. So hmm. we're going to have him make two copies, which actually makes... Four. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to make four copies, but each one is going to trigger. And I'm going to draw off of each one of those because I'm going to have two creatures, but, right? Uh, I just want to check on Anointed Possession says instead, right? What is the wording on it? Uh, it says if an effect would create one or more tokens under your control, it creates twice that many of those tokens instead. Okay. Okay. So. Making Rumor Gatherer, I'm going to attack with Rumor Gatherer. I can't go at Cole with 
that a call you would make you would draw five cards yeah so i'm going to draw five cards off of that well i'm going to first scry, to scry five roughly. times oh no, it's in i believe it would be intermittent you don't just to go like oh maybe you do get to go like no, scry the, five times the first five is the first creature is five scries right yeah 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 or four scries because it's whenever another creature enters so it's not seeing itself so the four that it makes okay. each four it's gonna scry okay. oh it's gonna do more than that isn't it Ugh. yeah well okay hold on hold on i think uh, you're right it's gonna go away more because each one is gonna see itself i would say build a simpler deck <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think you're right. You'll you'll be able to scry four times per creature. Yeah. So okay. Uh, but let me let me get the, the attacks four, eight, going. 12, so rumor times. gatherer is gonna go at the uh, initial one is gonna be going at. Shit, I don't even know how you'd stack that. Oh no, because it makes the copies first. So I have to do this first. Okay. So let me just scry four times first. And it's only scrying I think you one. You just gotta scry sixteen times. Well, it's scry one. So. If I want to keep it on top, but then I just keep it. I don't it. think you can just like pop drawing in there. No, I think now I've I've okay. said I'm I'm keeping this on top. Now I'm just gonna draw, draw my four. Is that right or five? Oh, that that's the thing. This one doesn't see itself. Uh, one, two, yeah. three, four. I think it's just the four, because it's only looking for a second creature. It all see a second creature coming into play. So it'll be four. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Now let's move to attacks. You might even be able to scry after that as well. That's whatever. Um. So uh, yeah, this one, face. these two, I guess, will go at Jake. Uh, or no, actually, we'll do these two at Lowry, Knight of the White Orchid at Jake. I will swing Solum, Simulacrum, and Duke at uh, at Cole. Total of eight, right? So all those. So you'll have also the other two, two going at you. So three, eight, nine, ten total at Cole. Uh, Lowry, you have three, six, and five, right? And yeah, you would have three, four, five. Yep. You have two creatures attacking each of them for the tokens. Yeah, he has a three one and he, yeah, I added that in. That's 10. So there's an additional nice. rumor gatherer. I'll just make this easier. So this one is hold on, hold a copy on. of that one and a copy of this one is going like that. And then you have two more. Yeah, that are attacking yeah but each I, of them. I can't attack with those, I don't think. Because this happens, it creates those copies. Actually, I should have drawn here. It creates the copies on the attack. Right. Yeah. So the two that it made are just kind of sitting there. The no, they're copies of what it is. They're, it's the same exact thing. That's what it says instead. They're attacking. Oh, so there's two more? Okay. Yeah. So it goes that way and that way. Because it's not, it's not saying like... I was just thinking that it would create token. the copies going... and they would just sit there saying you're putting one into play that's doing the uh, exact same thing the as the next one so it's instead yeah. of one it's just two more so just two more to each of you guys yep uh and then what are your creatures that are attacking me adam it is a three two and a three three is the three two what is that i it's a rumor gatherer game. sorry um, I'll block with one of my fairies. That's a two one. Okay. And kill and rumor gatherer. Die. Yeah. Okay. Let's not deal with that shit again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I actually appreciate it too. I'm like, ah, oh, I should have just made it easy on myself and done solemn simulacrum instead. Uh, and then I take three. Okay. So then I haven't played a land yet. Uh, what do we have for one, two, three. Let's pay one white, red, and colorless. Which is probably smarter to do it this way. We'll do a red. And I will play 
White Plume Adventurer. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you take the initiative. So... Where is the initiative stuff? Copy. I got so many damn tokens. Do you remember which initiative is at the end of turn? Okay, initiative, win or one more, blah, blah, blah. When you take the initiative and the beginning of your upkeep, venture into the dun under city. So I move into the first one. It says, search your library for a basic land, reveal it, and put it into your hand. So I'll do that at the end of my turn. I'll go grab something here. Uh, I'll play... Reflecting pool and that will be a go. So I took the initiative and at the beginning of my upkeep, I think is what it says. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go, Jake. No, right. I'm Jap. See if I can do something, right? Do this. I got a mountain uh, that I put in my hand, just so you guys. Um, I play Orzob okay. Guildgate. Tap. Um. Let's go. I don't want to do this. Green and white. Juki naturalist. That will trigger. Um, this will be my go counter. And then I will just put in a plus one, plus one counter. I'll draw a card. Um. I'm going to then tap two. Nope. Let's go this way. Green and a colorless for. Actually, I have a colorless floating. I'm going to play Kenrith's Transformation, targeting uh, Duke. Duke. Ooh. Sounds good. What's an elk? It's an elk now, which you he'll probably draw block. Two? It's a 3 3 elk. You get and to draw two off that? I get to draw two. No, just one, because this is just... It, it draws for itself, too. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Thank you. Respect. Um, so I have one floating, and just because I'm mean, hmm. I'm going to then tap for three. I'm going to imprison in the moon uh, Kroos. Oh, okay. Ooh. And Ooh. trigger again. Uh, and draw. Um, it's got the mean win. removal in there. Yeah, there baby. we go. Um, I'm going to then swing, because this is goaded. I can't swing yep. at you, but I will swing at Adam. How much is it? Uh, you're going to be taking, it, it's up to five. It's a five, six right now. Five, six. Five, five seven. Excuse me, wait. Three, four, five, yeah, five, seven. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that's fine. Five. <clears throat> One, I two, three, will. Four, five. As the cool kids say, I will pee the tea. Right. I didn't hear that. It, I am not cool. What did that mean? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? That no, it was it was real. I didn't hear what it was. <laughs> All right, untapping, draw. This guy is goaded, and that guy is goaded. All right, let's go with Sunken Hollow. I'm going to pay one for an inscribed tablet for a ray trigger. And I will tap and target Eldrazi Monument and pay one, two, three, four, five. That will trigger Fairy again. Um, all of my creatures are indestructible, plus one, plus one, and flying. One, two, three. Uh, I will tap to draw a card off of Idle. Ooh. So do you have Ooh. the monument out? Correct. It's, uh, I'm running out of space, but we'll go right there since that's new stuff. Cool. 
question ends up being what do I want to do? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, seven. Uh, nine. really quick, Jacuzzi, you took the initiative because you hit me. So you got to go search for a basic land and put it, reveal it, and put it in your hand. You're in the first part nice. of the dungeon. Oh, all right. Or in the Undercity. Basic land, huh? Um, I might just be happy with that in my hand. I'm going to pay two to equip Nettle Cyst to Alayla. And then I will pay one for the inscribed tablet, and that will sack it. Uh, reveal the top five cards and put a land card from among them into my hand. Uh, the rest on the bottom. And if not, I'll draw a card. Four or five. Lego Fabled. Rest on the bottom. And I just got the Fabled Passage. All right, let's do this. I think, okay, Adam's in a little bit of trouble. It's tapped, that's tapped. These are two also flyers. Okay. We're going to attack with Alayla, the fairies, and Sculptor. I just got to decide who I'm going and where I'm going. Which ones are all um, goaded? Are the, all, those yeah. three are all goaded? This is the only one that's goaded. Oh, okay. Uh, but they're all flying, all indestructible. Does anybody have flying? I do no not. No blocker. I do not either. Adam, I'm probably going to just continue with Alayla towards you. I'll figure out what that power is. Um, maybe two, three, three, six. Two, three. All right. Uh, so Ethereum Sculptor is going to go at Cole. The two fairies are going to go at Jake. Mm -hmm. And then Alayla will go at Adam. How big so is Ethereum? Ethereum? How big is Alayla? Hold on, I'll go through it. Ethereum Sculptor is one, Wait, is he two, not Three? He wouldn't be goaded anymore because Kroos is gone. Yeah, but if the goaded, you, if it, you're right. Actually, yeah, I can't do that. Um, yeah, the goad stays. It's like a yeah. delayed trigger. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, technically the same thing. I'll send one fairy at you. And I'll send one fairy at Jake and the Ethereum Sculptor. So either way, it should be three at Cole, six at Jake. How much is and then uh, Adam? That's two. Three, um, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me redo that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight at you, Adam. Eight? Hmm. Uh, no. <laughs> four. Uh, I'm going to do Helia's intervention. I'm going to... Uh, Target your Eldrazi monument and the equipment. Both of those. Okay. Everything loses flying and destructible plus one plus one. So now how much is it? Um, you'll take two. two. Uh, Cole, you'll take two. And then this is open to block, Jake, and then two in the air. Uh, I will. I will just take... So everything gets reduced. I did take six. So is it now just f what is four? Four. Okay. So I'll get two back. I How's do. It? And it is a two, three that you could block. I don't know if that's beneficial to you or not. I'm good. Okay. So four, two, and two. And I gain two. Hmm. And you hit Jake, so then you also go into the Undercity. Ooh. So you get to go search for a basic and put it into your hand. Reveal it. Mm. 
maybe yeah put a planes into my hand um that'll be a go all right give me one moment here Oh, so this is actually a colorless land. Perfect. I just use that as a land. Yep. Just making sure. I was reading that card. I was like, I don't know what that does. Two, three. Um. Okay. I'm gonna take all of them. So I'm gonna take eight. Oh. Jeez. Make sure that you also take all the cards from Sylvan Library. <laughs> <laughs> that would be unfortunate to take the eight but not the cards <laughs> okay um play a land for turn i'll play a planes I'm going to pay five for a promise of loyalty. Promise of Ooh. loyalty. Come on. You hold son up. of a gun. Oh, is that, is that a choose? sacrifice or destroy? It's a choose sacrifice. one, right? Each player you choose one, put a vow counter on it, sacrifice the rest, and then the ones the vow counters can't attack me uh, as long as they have a vow counter on it. Ouch. I'm really happy that that... Uh... Monument got destroyed. Because <laughs> then I'd have to sacrifice what so your one creature was left. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. I don't think it's a May. If you don't. Uh, yeah, it's not a May, though. Well, I think I'll just let my commander die. <clears throat> That'll be one of them. I'm going to keep alive. Ugh. Yeah, I'll keep this guy alive, my untapped guy. I'll draw off of my Solemn going to the graveyard. Okay. Draw my card. Hit. <laughs> then I will pay two for a Thrumming Bird. So, can, or your commander's gone, right? Adam. Mine is, yep, Mine. yep, yep. But the Imprisoned Moon is still on because yep. you can't target it. Yep. I'm keeping Emery. Okay, and then... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... On Soul Ring and tap Magnetic Web. Uh, targeting... What do you have on your board, Adam? What'd you keep? It's the the venture in the dungeon gal. What's his, what's his power and toughness? Three three. Three three. Okay. Um I'll put the magnet counter on him. Okay. And then I will pass the turn. So that just means if I attack with it, if there's any other ones that I have, they have to attack. And then if I attack somebody that has the magnet, they have to block with their... Correct. Okay. <clears throat> when I guess... Um... Play my oh. land for turn. Oh, that is. It says a, is it a loyalty counter or something on it? Vow counter. A what counter? A vow, V-O-W. Vow. Vow counter. A cow. Basically, vowed you're not going to attack me with that. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to attack anyway. That works. Let's go two, one. Oh, shit. Did I do that? Two, yeah. three. Yeah. Four, five, and six. Yeah, might as well do that. Uh, play him. <sighs> what do we have left? Okay. All right. 
then let's see creatures creatures everybody's tap besides cole has one blocker does he have infect is that what he has what is your thrumming uh proliferate when he does damage oh, okay all right um although that oh, would you cast be... duke yes yeah yeah okay uh before combat okay uh, I'm gonna pay a blue to rapid hybridization him. Uh, Destroy it, can't be regenerated. Get a 3 3 green frog lizard. In response, I will tap four. And I will play Lazale's Acrobatics. Okay. I'll roll a d20. And. Oh, stupid. So all non token creatures are gonna roll them up. <laughs> it's stupid. All right. Uh, 20. So. Return those to the battlefield under your owner's control, then exile them again. Return those cards to the battlefield under owner's control at the beginning of the next upkeep. So they leave, they come back. So this triggers, so I take the initiative again. Uh, I will move down in the Undercity to Scry 2. Uh, Scry 2. And then I'll put these on the bottom. And then they will leave again. So they're no longer there. So you are skipping my attack. So that's good there. And then beginning of the end step, or then they come back again. And this will trigger one more time. So the token on it's gone. Yeah, the magnetic counter's gone. So the I am going to move to Goading. Lowry's creature. Lowry's a Layla. <laughs> okay. Just oh, I don't have a Layla out. I just have Emery. Oh, Emery. Okay, never mind. Never yeah, mind then. Do, I'd do something else if I was. Uh, then Jake, I'll I'll go to your your fun big guy. Yep. So and this is the new power. Then that's a go. All right, untap. <clears throat> Raw card. I like that card. I am going to tap for a green and a colorless, and I'm going to play Sylvan Scrying. Mm, for a scry. card. That looks like a fancy mm. one, too. It Ooh. is. It's a foily one. I like it. I am going to go and get a Gone Gates. Because Gone Gate says that gates you control enter the battlefield untapped there it's a japanese foily one perfect right. convenient yeah so oh that goes my good hand. for you yes and then i will play said gone gate so it taps for colorless and add one mana of any color that a gate can produce as well not not and it's either or colorless or and Do that. Do that. All right. So let's go green and three. Go Shatai. And I will get a shrine. Uh, I get two plus one plus one counters because this is whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield and since the shrine is an enchantment creature, both of these trigger. So I will draw two cards. Um, I'm going to use one and play Sanctum of the Tranquil Light. It'll trigger again, uh, getting two shrines, uh, two plus one plus one counters and two cards. Cards. All right, that one's not pulling up. We'll just type it in. Sanctum. Um, I will then move. I have to attack because uh, it's oh. goaded. Um, and I'm sorry, Lowry, but I'm going to uh, What's up? I get it. I get it. Yeah, so six, seven, eight, nine, a nine, eleven coming in. <laughs> it's not like you had much of a choice. It was goaded and it has a vow counter on it. <laughs> right. 
There, there was no choice. <laughs> there was not a choice that I could have made there. Um, I will move to my end step. I will need to discard a few cards. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will get rid of crop rotation and expedition math. And I will say, go, 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 go. All right. Black, 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 black. Okay, funny. Wait, white, blue, blue. A fable passage for an island to play on top. Uh oh, Larry, did you free? Oh, there you go. I was like, no! Oh. <laughs> That'd be unfortunate for sure. Um, especially during my turn. Seems pretty convenient. Just unplug it so that you can grab whatever you want and then come back. Oh, sorry, guys. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Monic tutoring freeze. <laughs> How did that happen? How did that oh. happen? Um, okay. To, to, to do. Oh, the question is, I had all that time to think and I, I didn't want to. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We will cast, recast a Layla. Tap it, and we will target Ethereum Sculptor, pay two, bring that back into play, trigger for Zeferi. Uh, token comes into play, tap to draw a card. Ooh. Um, Cast Mox Opal for my second fairy. And there's not much I can do with that manas. Uh, I can't attack with anything. I'll say go. It. Oh. And put two back. Play an island. I'll play two for a talisman. Um, I will then pay three. Oh, there's another one over here. I'll pay three for a Avon uh, Mimeomancer. Basically, flying at the beginning of my upkeep, I may put a feather counter on target creature. If you do, that creature has base power and toughness of 3-1 and has flying for as long as it has a feather counter on it. Nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to combat. Adam, do you have any flyers? I do not. I'm going to go ahead and swing at you for one. Taking it. Cool. It's going to proliferate, so I will bump this up to one. I will add another of each of the counters that's on Emery, uh, the Magnet, and the Shield, I think that is. Or is that a plus one, plus one? This? Yep. That's a Vow counter and a Magnet counter? Oh, wow. So, yeah, I'll duplicate the Vow and the and the Magnet counter. Um, uh, Jake, I'll give you another Vow counter, another plus one, plus one as well. Um, so loyal. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Do I also venture into the dungeon? Is that something I do? Nope. When you... Oh, yep, 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 yep. You did hit me. So you get... Uh, go search for a basic land. Put it in your... Reveal it and put it in your hand. Sick. I'll reveal planes. And then... I think that's all I'm going to proliferate as well. Um, I suppose I should have done that a little different. But um, I will go ahead... And down one him to add a plus one plus one counter here. I'll also pay a colorless to do this to put a magnet counter 
on the Satessan uh, champion there. Nice. All right. That is all. Are you moving to your end step? Yes, I am. I'm at your end step. I'm going to pay one, and I'm going to Pongify Duke. You get a 3 3 ape. Sweet. <laughs> Duke clearly is the problem. <laughs> And yeah. Okay, it's got a magnet on it. Oops. That's cute. Duke's gonna be hard to come back. Oh, I get two three threes, don't I? You get yeah. two three threes. Yeah, you do. Get procession. <laughs> Look at you. Good you. Oh, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good for you. You're right. I probably should have done that. Do I have one? Yeah, I do. All right. All right, I will uh, draw for turn. Oh, well, that changes things a lot. Killing my Duke there, buddy. Um, oh, nice job. Listen, I'm the removal guy, apparently. Apparently. Yeah. He's the police. Uh, only, well, I think that's all I got. I don't have much. You've hit two. Play like, my when Adam removed my two artifacts, that was huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. Hmm. How do I want to do this though? Cause now I got to pay 10 to bring them out Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I can do it. Maybe, maybe instead of doing all that stupid drawing with uh, rumor gatherer, you could have just <laughs> ramped more with solemn. I should have. Then I, <laughs> right. Oh yeah. yeah. uh, shit. I don't have any like ways of doing much there. So let's just play creatures out well so your creature does the beginning of upkeep it turns something to a three one three one flying yeah okay if i want to it's a may ability yeah i don't like that because then whenever i play it's not not good there well i don't think it gets rid of the abilities though yeah no it just it just gives it a counter that makes its base power and toughness three one against flying yeah. It doesn't turn it into a 3 1 burger or anything like that with no abilities. All right. I Which guess. Would have been sweet. I guess I'll do it again. <laughs> Two, <laughs> three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven. Let's get those over here. Eight, nine, ten. In response? Get I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. One, two, kidding. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine ten. Okay, so I have one more mana than I was thinking I did. All right, Dukers. Get your <laughs> ass out. Bastard. Bastard, Jake. That's what you are. Bastard. Um, it's not much I can really do there, so let's go through. Well, I guess we can wait on that. All right, so I'll move to my attacks, and I will target uh, the White Plume Adventurer. Uh, but I got to do my attacks. Everything has to attack first, right? Before it makes the copies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that how that works? Okay. So is anybody tapped out? No one is tapped out. Not tapped out lands, meaning creatures wise. Alayla's a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, everybody has creatures. 2-3. Um, three. Alayla's a 3-3. 2-3. 2-3. Three, three. Two, three. Two, three. Um, I guess this is just going to end up dying. We're going to go... Well, we're going to make uh, Cole do some stuff. So, Cole, yeah. I am going all three of these, but this is going to make two copies also attacking the other two. Not okay. Two, two. How big is that guy again, the dungeon guy? Three, three. So, it creates two of those. So, I'm going to move through the dungeon twice. So, it's going to yeah. go draw a card. So, that's my first one. And then the second one is reveal... The top 10 cards of your library put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield with three one one counters on it. It gains hexproof until their next turn. So I got to do all this first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So my creatures are going to be those. Uh... That could be interesting. Uh, uh, what do 
have problems with. I'll uh, actually copy Yose. Ooh. Or not copy. I'll come in as a 7-7 with Hexproof. All right. Now I'll do your guys' stuff. Oh, shit. Hang on. One more uh, thing. Um, This happened. There's actually two more attacking Lowry and Jake. So it actually went through the dungeon two more, or went, I go through it again. So I'm actually going to go get a basic land and scry two at the end of that. Okay, now you guys do your thing. Six so I wasn't paying attention, so how much am I taking? So you have two three threes of this guy coming at you, and same with Lowry. Okay. So I'll take the six. I will block with a three four. Okay. And I will take the other three. So is it, are you attacking me with the original? Nope, the no. originals are going at Cole. Okay. Original and then the apes. Don't they all make doubles? Wouldn't there be like nine going at each of them? No, no it's three. It's it's two, two each. each going so it creates them. one, but two. Well, okay. At me, okay. one at me, but two, and then one at Jake, but two. Okay, got it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna block the original dungeon dude with a uh, four two that okay. dies. And mine dies too. You go down to one. They go down to yeah. one. Yeah, save Cole. <laughs> All right, save. so how do we keep Cole alive? <laughs> oh. oh don't... No, Adam seems to be a jerk here. And oh, what going is going Cole. on? I don't know why. Uh, I think I think I know what that means. <clears throat> uh to protect Cole at all costs. <laughs> Uh, let's see. My uh, deck had the same sentiment. And then, uh, second main phase, I suppose I'll just do this. Tap three, and I'll play Inspiring Overseer. I'll gain a life and draw a card. And that'll be a go. You save Cole by getting rid of Imprisoned of the Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Let's not go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it is a way. It is a way. I will play a black dragon gate when it comes in. I will say green. It comes in untapped because of the gond gate. Um, mm -hmm. I will. What can I do here? <laughs> Let's tap for a green and a colorless. I'm going to play Cryptolite, right? So creatures you control have, they can tap one mana nice. of any color. Nice. Uh, trigger Session. I'll get two, draw a card. Mm, that is also a good card. So I will then tap for two red. And of colorless and play Sanctum of the Shattered Heights so I can hmm. discard a land card and I could do X damage where X is the number of shrines I control nice. to uh, a creature of Planeswalker so shrine comes in I get two triggers yep. so that goes to five it's a two big draw. boy yep yep I'm going to then tap one, discard a swamp, and I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. One, two, three, four, five, six to Duke. <laughs> what? Damn, <laughs> Duke is just getting targeted. <laughs> what a twist. Um, I will then also do... Pay one and discard an island and do six to a Layla. That just feels feels good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It just feels good. It just feels good. Just feels good to do. <laughs> um, 
three and play Sanctum of the Fruitful Harvest. That'll trigger. Um, at this point, it just makes zero sense. Since these can't attack, but they can block. There's two of them here. I get two more and a draw. Yeah, draw, draw. Draw, draw. Two draws, right? Yeah. Yep, two. Oh, I wish I had more mana for that. Um, and let's see. Um, I can go to combat. This is got a magnet counter, right? Yeah. Um, and do you have anything with a magnet counter on it, Adam? Nope. Uh, and you have... Minus two. Yeah, but... And you, Adam, you have what? Two flyers, right? Yeah. Seven, seven, and a two, one. Target player skips her next untapped step. Wow, that's brutal. Um, yeah, uh, I'm. God, that scares me. Because you're going to block with one of them, right? Obviously. <laughs> I don't want to take all that damage. Yeah, and then obviously I'm probably going to be the target. I mean, gonna... you've killed Duke a lot of times. <laughs> you, you, you put him in a put him in a cage. I mean, you turned him into an elk, and then you kill him. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna actually just I'm gonna hold up. For that. Uh, <laughs> I'll just uh, I'll just just sit, hang out, sit pretty. All right. I've seen Jake kill expensive commanders many a time. <laughs> Draw. Hey, that was that would have been nice last turn. All right, land for turn. Let's fill Abby. I'm gonna tap and go one, two, three, four. Well, let's let's be smart about this. One, two, three, four, five. I don't one, two, three, and bringing back. Eldrazi Monument. What, what, what? All right. Um, one, two, three, four. Uh, we will cast Urza High Lord. Ooh. And it creates a token. That's one, two, three, four. So four, four, little duty. Um, token comes into play. Tap to draw a card for idle. Oh, how? We'll pay two for spell skite. Would love to have a Layla around, but no. So, do you have any flyers, Jake? I do not. Adam? Yep. 7-7 seven, seven and a 2-1. 7 7 and a 2 1. Would be pointless to attack you at this point, Adam. Boop, boop. Oh, one, two, three. You can hit Cole okay. for one. <laughs> True. I mean True. I could. You're right. I'd like to have him languish and suffer. <laughs> wow, Team Forest Walk, you know? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Hashtag, <laughs> what, do you want me to kill you? Is that no, what, it's good. I'll see what happens. I'm, I'm trying to make it seem like I'm being mean to you. But, <laughs> but you're not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can top deck. We'll see. Um, Jake uh, flying... That's two, four, six. Six in the air? Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. Two, three, four, six. Okay. Um. That'll be a go. All right. They love, they love. All right, uh, tap everything, draw three. OK, 
Okay. Those don't really save me. I'll put two back. What? Just do an extra one. Yeah. I yeah. think that's totally fine. I wait. Um, it helps you get other cards on your next turn. You Then you can kind of oh. get through it a little better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> that's the ticket. Uh-huh. Um, okay. I'm going to... Uh, pay one in a colorless to tap this. Put a magnet counter on um, I'm gonna put a magnet counter on uh, Jake's commander. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> and then Okay, let's see. I'll pay th well, this gotta be a green. Pay three for a reap what is sown. Uh, instant, put a plus one plus one counter on each of up to three target creatures. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put a plus one plus one counter on. <clears throat> oh, I'm trying to think. What, what do you have on your board, Lowry? Um, I have Urza, a... I guess it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess it's a six now. Uh, six, six, like, Karn struct. Uh, two, two, one, or one, one fairies, Ethereum sculptors, spell skite. I guess everything has plus one, plus one. All right, so I'll give, uh, I'll give a plus one, plus one counter to your golem. I'll put another plus one, plus one counter on the Satessan champion, and then a plus one, plus one counter on Goshentai. <sighs> Lots of counters going around there. Yep. Do you have any flyers, Lowry? I guess you All of them. Head. Do you mind if I hit you with a 1-1 one -one so I can proliferate everybody's counters? Um. Yeah, go ahead. Separate, separate Adam's counters. None of those. Good. Okay. <laughs> I agree. I agree. It's yeah, very, I'm good cool. with that. Not very nice. I will swing a thumbing bird at you for one. All right. Gonna proliferate that. Go ahead, Lowry, and for every counter you have on there, just double it. Uh, Jake, same with you. Just go ahead and, and add another counter to everything that has a counter for whatever it is. Um, And then I will subtract one from here, and I will give um, Goshentai an additional plus one, plus one counter. Two magnet counters. Yeah. Those All right. Helpful. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the demise in general, actually. Um, can I do that? Are you doing anything before? Actually, I am going to do something. This might okay. actually is going to kill me. Mm, yes, it's probably going to kill me, but that's okay. I might help Lowry. I'm going to tap my two creatures for mana. Okay. And I'm going to besage you the Anointed Procession. Destroy it. Okay. Mm. You're welcome, it. Lowry. That's, that's, it. I'm going to die now. So, uh, all right. So now on tap, I don't know if you're going to die. upkeep. So this is going to move mm. down, and I'm going to. I don't think I want anything with goading, so we'll get a treasure. Come on, treasures. Where are you? There you are. Um, and then it will draw. Interesting. Uh, let's go white for a soul warden. Uh, another white for a soul's attendant gain, gain a life. life. Uh, I will play my land for turn, which I will just use wooded foothills, pay the one. And I 
just want to grab a basic, I think, at this point. So we'll just grab a mountain there. And then... Yeah, might as well try to do what I was going to do. I'm not going to do what everybody thinks I'm going to do, except do what I want to do. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12. Bring Duke out. That is what you were planning on doing. Yeah. And I will gain two life. And then I will move to my attacks. Hate you. <laughs> okay. So here's the interesting thing I am making a copy of Yose. This is going to be the one that makes the duplicates. But the two duplicates that come into play actually get sacrificed right away. So immediately Lowry and Jake, you will not untap and I will tap down five of your creatures. So what creatures do you guys have that are one? Is it target? Yeah. Each person that I'm targeting. Yeah. It's a target. Okay. So yeah. Target your stuff. Oh, and it yeah. doesn't untap. It, it won't untap. So how many creatures do you have, Jake? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So hit the I've one set. that's untapped right now. And then hit the big guys and one of your shrines is not targeted. So that one of your shrines will untap next turn. Okay. So I would say that these are the ones that aren't going to untap. And then this one will untap here. Perfect. And, uh, oh, actually, sorry. It, it made four coming. copies. So tap down all your guys' stuff. No, it didn't. Oh yeah, that's gone. Yeah, yeah it's gone. That's gone. Sorry. Gone. That was a good play. You had me because I was I was all game on that one, Jake. That was a good uh, destroy anointed person. So who did, who did you attack with the original? Uh, I haven't gotten to that part yet because I was making the copies. But yeah, um, it doesn't make copies until you attack. Right, Cole. You didn't you didn't have any blockers. Right. He he's already packed up. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I have my attacks right for him though. Yeah. Is he gone? Gone. Oh, are you there? He's just packing up. I'm here. Sorry. Did you have? You didn't have any blockers. You didn't have any no blockers. Blo no blockers. I had nothing. Okay. So this had to go at Cole because the other two were going at you two, right? Or no? It just says you can target a Whatever player. Want. And it dies. Skip player. Okay. So it's not attacking. Okay. So Cole, one of the three threes would be going at you, uh, and then Lowry. What did you? You have some things untapped right i'm waiting for you to kind of i don't know why you're attacking him with the ape because i have to kill him oh because the other the other things don't actually okay uh but really quick i did gain uh so i don't even untap my lands huh no not in your land yet so i gained four life forgot about that okay so the ape is going at cole then I have the seven seven is gonna go. This one's gonna Larry. I want. Do you have any flyers? All of them are flying. Well, I mean, uh, if you're tapping stuff down, yeah, you're, you gotta make your decision on everything. Okay, how many creatures do you have that are? One, two, three. So tap those three. No, you need huh. to declare all your attacks. I'm trying to. Okay, right. <laughs> but these are sacrifices. You need to do it before we start tapping stuff. Okay, so we'll go the seven at Lowry. Uh, let's see, and the three three at you there, Jake, and that'll be it. All right. So now you're sacrificing the two, tapping down what I don't you want. Don't sacrifice. Yeah, they. Yeah. So then they, they both get yep, sacrificed. Yep, sacrificed. So hit Urza's, your three that are untapped right now. One, two, three. And then your Emery. Is it Emery? Yeah, Emery there. Emery. And then I guess your other guy. Yeah, the one that, the biggest one. Your other ones are just are flying guys, right? So yeah. That yeah, one. like one, two, probably one, two over uh, yep. one ones. Oh, so what does Yose specifically state? When it dies, uh, target player skips his or her untapped step, tap up to five target permanents that player controls. You say that last part again? Tap up to five target permanents that player controls. Okay. All right. Um, 
I'm going to I believe I can spell skite to redirect those tappings. And so the spell skite one happens, the sculptor one happens, and then I will redirect two, four, six spell skite as well. So you're paying all that life? And I'll pay six. Okay. And then I'm able to just block the Yose that's coming my way. I don't have much though. You have a um Jake, do you have anything that you oh nothing would untap? Nope. You have anything that he tapped that you don't want tapped? Go Shatai, I can help us. You want that untapped? I will redirect that tap. Actually, hold on. I don't know if I can if wait, hold on. Let me see if I can do anything. I don't know if you can do all that. Whenever it dies, target player skips his or her untap step. Tap up yeah, the five target <laughs> player that player controls. The only thing that I could do well, I you can't have to tap you have to Oh, it's up to that person. That person. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can't redirect that one. Yeah. Then. Yeah. That was right. it okay. for mine. I don't have a, I'm done at my turn. Okay. So I don't untap at all. Right. But yeah. I'll draw. Um, at the beginning of my pre-combat main phase, I get X mana of one color where X is the number of shrines I control. Um, that would be five. Actually, it's five, five, six, seven, eight nine so i get nine i'm gonna say nine white mana with five of that mana i have four left i'm going to play sphere of safety Ooh, <laughs> that's that's kind of so nice. it's gonna take you nine mana to attack me with one creature um with the other with two of it i will play fell war stone Um, oh shit, is this going to work? No, damn it. That would have been dope. Actually, can I take that back? No, I need changed. That. I don't have any problem with it, but no, I can't. I, I can't do what I want to do. That would have been amazing, actually. Um, because I don't think I'll be able to survive, but this is the cool thing about it. I will play Maze's End. Comes in tapped. Ooh. You would get the win. How many do you have? Well, if if I can get to it, because I have a, a card in my hand that will help me, but I, I don't have enough gates right now. But I will. If I can get to my next turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have two here, but because that's done, I'm going to pay one, and I'm going to ditch Azuria skill gate and kill that morning star since i've already untapped i can't do anything but i will have to skip your or somebody's untapped phase That's again yep. and tap down five i have to do it to you because otherwise larry's gonna it'll go to waste on it so it's just and destroying then, right yep yep and then i will then pay one and ditch this because your commander's still out too right yes Yes, and I'll blow him up. <laughs> what are you what are you playing though? I don't see what you did there. Sorry. Oh, I, I'm using Sanctum of the Shadow. Oh, Sanctum. Type okay. Gotcha. To tap the Fell War Stone and do that. And then I had the Actually, you know what? Sorry, put your commander back. I couldn't have done that. I can only have done it once. Oh wait, no, no, I could have. I could have. I had two I had two leftover mana. Never mind. Sorry. I did. Yeah. Let's make sure. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. You had ten total to work with. Yeah, and I played uh, five here, fell war stone two, and still had some left over to ditch. So, all right. Five, six, well, seven. Jake, I guess mm. I have to pick you again and tap down. How many creatures do you have? Just three now. Oh no, you have all uh, your shrines, don't you? I don't have any. I thought one of your have... shrines untapped. Wasn't one of the creatures one of those that untapped? No, it, it, it tapped them all. Oh, okay. Um, I did, I do get a sphere of safety, uh, trigger to draw 
um, and then a counter on here, but that doesn't really matter. I, I want to go over the um, mana one more time because you created nine. So I created right? nine, right? So you used five, I used five to play of it. Safety. I had four left. Out of four. And then I yeah. used two to play Fell War Stone. So I had two Ditch. left. Two. And I could pump two more into this, ditching two lands. But you would need how many how many land or how much mana would you need for that? It'd be four mana, right? You only have three. I only it's it only one needs mana. one. It's or... one mana. Oh, it's only need one. One. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Pay one, All discard right. a land. Okay. Uh. So then, yeah. what creatures do you have, Jake? Zero. No, no creatures. No, you do, but I have to tap them down. That's what I'm saying. Your next turn, they're gonna. Oh. Stay. Yeah. I mean, I have five shrines. Okay. So six, seven. I have seven. So creatures. we'll get your two big guys, and then, uh three of the other shrines so these three shrines here will keep tap down these ones will be able to, to there come we go out. that works all right uh what because like, you just skip your untap step the next turn it doesn't matter if they can or cannot untap next turn oh yeah you're right because it's just tapping oh. down you're yeah. right yeah you're never right. mind tap your enchantments then <laughs> i guess you can <laughs> uh, i got i got i mean i got nothing after that yeah All right. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I guess I don't untap. But I could. Uh, draw for turn. Um. I guess that ain't that ain't way on. Oh, I I sacrificed. Fairy. Um. Skull clamp with the Ethereum Sculptor. One and equip it. So that is. And then Adam, I'm going to attack you. That is that actually. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Headed your way. Uh, what's the big one? They're both flying. Okay, this one's flying oh. too. Uh, it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you're blocking the ten and taking one, two, three. Three. And you move either to uh, put two counters on target creature or scry two. Two counters on a creature. Um, let's go with two counters on a creature. I'll put it on Urza. Okay. And then I'll say go. Ugh. Your maze of if they or that maze of if your maze thing you win the game you don't have to tap anything do you there jake i do have to tap it okay so so it's not this turn i won't be able to win this turn because otherwise yeah i didn't have an answer to kill you because i haven't you guys are too much life um <laughs> uh, nine per creature to attack me yeah i know that's, the uh, myriad does get around that yeah though. it does, oh, does but that's, it? Okay. that's a lot of mana to have to get it but balls so because it comes into play attacking so it never uh, attacked right. you but oh yeah so he doesn't even have to attack me with the original yeah but right. he just I has to attack to, me with he it. just has to kill you but then he can't attack me after that though very true right mm -mm -mm. so lowry will untap jake will not so why don't we do Let's just play stuff because uh, that's a lot of mana to get my guy out and not really do much. So t one, two, three, four. I'll play uh, Rose Room Treasurer. I'll gain two life from the uh, gals. Uh, and then I will play. We'll go one. 
Red, two, three, and another red for four. I'll play at Sushi, the Blazing Sky, another two life. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, if I do that, you're just going to do that. So let's do, we'll take one back away. Keep one untapped there. We'll do five. And I'll play Aerial Extortionist. And what this does is when it enters the battlefield uh, or deals combat damage to a player, exile one target non-land permanent for as long as this remains exiled, its owner may cast it. Uh, whenever another player casts a spell anywhere other than from their hand, draw a card. Uh, gain two more life. And is it a creature? Non-land permanent. So let's target. You're going to have to sacrifice. How many fairies do you have there, Lauer? You just have your three just creatures the one. and one there. I got one, two, three, four, five, six creatures. Six creatures. Okay. Let's get rid of uh, Eldrazi Monument then. What, what is the wording on it again? It says, when it enters the battlefield or deals combat damage to a player, exile up to one target non-land permanent. For as long as it remains exiled, its owner may cast it. Whenever I'll another player... to life and turn it to Spellskite. Okay, so Spellskite is under this now. Yep. All right. Um, and then I got to play my land for turn. So I'll play Planes... And let's see here. So you have no blockers at this point, Lowry, and I can't attack Jake. Oh, I also gained, sorry, let me do this quick too. Um, I cast one creature, two creatures, so I get two treasures. So three total treasures there. And I'll move to attacks. And since I guess you're... Oh, you have no blockers, right, Lau? Just making sure. Correct. I am I am open. Okay, so we'll go three, six, seven, eight. Your way. Got it. And then I steal this back. Uh I will move to oh, I have to make a four one black skeleton creature with menace, and I will gain two more life. And what does that do with this? Rose room treasurer. Uh, cool. otherwise you may pay X for X to X damage to any target. So cool. how, how big is, oh, I can't kill it because zero drowsy monument still there. I, I know this is a poor play, but you can, it says any target. Yeah, so it does. You can yeah. I can just do kill me. Yeah. That's actually where I was going. Cause I can't target your stuff and I can't really do much there. So we'll pay one, two to hit you, Lowry. <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. And then that'll be. I, li I like what Cole did and Darken. I'm go. I'm out now. Too. <laughs> uh, go ahead, uh, Jake. I, that was the end of my turn. <laughs> right. I don't untap anything. I will. All right. That's interesting. Nice, nice, nice. Nine. I will get nine green mana. Uh, and with five of it. Nine goes to four. I will play a Hour of Promise. Search your library for up to two land cards. Put them into the battlefield tapped. Um, I will. What do I want to do here? <clears throat> Obviously, I'm getting some gates. But which gates? Does it matter? Sorry, give me a second. I apologize. No, I I don't know First how many. Gonna... are big and game is ending. <laughs> Here, do a good job and figure it out. Uh, 
don't think it matters. Also, I don't know if... You might have to... How would this work, Lowry? You would know better than I would. So it says Great. comes in tapped, but Gone Gate says gates come in untapped. So would the... It would, is it a gate? What do you... Oh, you're bringing gates in, you're saying? Yeah, no, no, no. You you would... Uh, it'd come into play untapped. Yeah. Untapped? Yeah. Yeah, because it's... Oh. That's... that's Yeah. See, oh, that's... that's actually a really good question. Okay. Can you read Gond? Yep. Well, specifically? Uh, Gond gate specifically. I have to... I meant mine's Japanese, so... Because it was cheaper in foil. Oh. Uh, okay. Gates you control enter the battlefield untapped. That's basically it. And then this says, search your library for two land cards, put them into the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. I think it would come in untapped, wouldn't it? I, oh, that is a good question. So, what we're looking. okay, what what's an example in my head that, that would be like something semi-comparable? Like Amulet um, of Vigor plus some other kind of tapped thing. Yeah, but that's a trigger to whereas this is like a static effect. So like Here. triggers can be stacked and affected and whereas can I can I re here on gate? Yeah. Uh so gone gate specifically just says uh sorry, let me find it. Gates you control enter the battlefield untapped. I mean that that seems like just like a static thing like it doesn't matter that seems wrong in my heart but like right in my head cuz that that is not a trigger it's not stating like instead though either it's like implying like yeah we know that it comes into play untapped Like, if it was, like, Amulet of Vigor, it would state gates that come into play tapped come into play untapped or something. You know what I mean? What is that, like, the ruling with, like, Hour of Promise specifically, you know? I think I'm more worried about the gone, gone gate. What was the name of the card that Adam tapped out everything with? Yose. Okay. <laughs> Who knows that the actual have come up, but. <laughs> <laughs> There's no. Sorry, guys. I'm. On that. Is this just when? I don't know if this is gonna change anything when I play. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, for sure. Wrench, I said they would come into play tapped, then the gate would untap them immediately, is what I would presume. That's no, what Wrench, I said. No, don't, because it, it's not a trigger. It's not stating untap yeah. it in any way. It's saying it's coming into play untapped. So, so it's, like, it's not it's, a trigger. It's a static ability, So there's a and that's the, effect, the part though. that's tricky. If the gone gate is already on the battlefield and the gate being put into the battlefield has a replacement effect that causes it to enter tapped as it must do, then you choose the order of the replacement effect applies in relation to gone gate. They could either enter untapped or tapped. Okay. I'm fine with either. Okay. So that's, yeah, that's the proper wordage of, uh, replace. It's a replacement effect. Yeah. It's not a trigger or anything. Okay. Um, so yeah, yeah. So wow, they that, will cool. come in tapped and then untap, basically. Um, when this enters, I will say, so I still have green mana here. I will say white. So white. Um, do I lose all these... Thou counters and shit? Are they gone? Yeah, I no. Well, not I the, mean, they're the counters stay, irrelevant. Right? Um, I will then. They stay, but they're irrelevant at this point. Yeah. 
So with a white and, and two green, I will play Seder Enchanter. So whenever you cast an enchantment spell, draw a card. With one of the green and this blue, I will play Diplomatic Immunity, enchanting my commander. What does Diplomatic do again? Enchant creature can't be the target of spells and abilities. Okay. And, and then, then that will trigger Setsian and also the Enchanter. So I'll draw two cards. I guess one, two. Ugh, okay. And with one more green, I will play a Wild Growth. And let's just put it on here, which will trigger both of these again. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of this. So... Well, no, you're game. you're sitting pretty good because I can't attack you. <laughs> like yeah. my way, I killing Lowry was the I needed to attack Lowry to get the pseudo attacking you. Like I um, basically can't get you, yeah, no, and you're gonna win on upkeep because you have ten. Then will you get it? I will. I will because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Okay. So maybe uh, you shouldn't have killed me. <laughs> pass uh -huh. the turn and, and we'll see what happens see what you draw on okay so i move to the last step in the undercity which is reveal the top 10 cards in my library and put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield uh, hex proof all that fun stuff so one one Armageddon. two three there's a creature four there's another creature five there's another creature six and another seven eight nine 10 these don't do anything they're just gonna get shuffled uh is there anything in here that's gonna save me is the question oh yes all right oh. yeah so i'm gonna play uh Dragar hedge mage uh when it comes into the end of play if you control two or more mountains destroy target artifact if you control two or more planes destroy an enchantment destroy your enchantment yep. that yep and Wait, then, let me take this for oh, a second, though. Yep. Hold on. I don't know if I can do this. I need to see if I have a, if I can pull mana out of nowhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give me a second. Um, where is? Can I only tap for one? I only have one creature now, huh? Yeah, and yeah. actually the problem is you can't tap that because it does have summoning sickness. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah, man, uh, I think you're going to get it because you're going to be able to hit me with everything. Yeah, so kill that sphere of safety and what artifact do you have? I can't really just that. more stone. Okay, yeah, so I'd hit that. All right, so that was that. This gets two counters on it. And then I already greeting. Oh, gave my two life. Then I draw a card for turn. Creature came into play too for a treasure. Yep, yep, that, that's what I was just hitting. Thank you. Okay. Um, and then I guess you don't have any. You have how many creatures do you have to block at this? Just point? one. Just one. Okay. Okay, so. And he's a ground creature too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'll just move to attacks, I suppose. Yeah. And we'll go four, eight, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah. No, I don't think it, even if I blocked anything on the ground, you, that would just be it. Yeah. Yeah. And then it gets right. through. Yeah. Do, do the math though let's see three three well what's the here let me help one. you out we'll do this make yeah. it a little easier a chroma's will yeah okay there you go <laughs> <laughs> i was just waiting for a year or something to pull out of nowhere and be like i destroy well, all your stuff and i'm like oh fuck okay i gotta keep yeah, this ready i wish i would have had mana up for this oh yeah event. that would have been because then you couldn't have blown up the Oh. That's the only Ugh. thing I could have hit the 
close. The other three uh, was Loyal Warhound, which got me land. Sky Scanner, drawing now Sanctity or Sanctuary Warden. And his battlefield two counter. Nope, I wouldn't have been able to kill you. You would have won if I didn't get that. Yep. Any yep. destroy enchantment thing. Yep. Woo! All right. That was very close. All right. All right. So are we just uh, jumping into another game, or what are we doing here? Was there anybody else that was in? I didn't. You two are the ones that were the ones that said they wanted. There's a game firing in thirty minutes. Oh, James wanted in on one too. Um, let's see here. Check on people. Let's see. Just finished. You know what I'm going to do is I'm ending the stream part quick so we can figure this part out. So, all right. Uh, all right. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Commander Smith, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because it's a two-hour-long video, and oh. making it multiple videos would be kind of awful to have a four-hour-long thing. <clears throat> That's not what she said. All right.